You've heard of karate, but uh, do you know that there is Korean karate? There's a Korean karate center in Cleveland uh, in which uh, two students, uh, Lisa Kozak, Lisa, you are 17? 19. 19. And David Willard is 17. You are, uh, you're a red belt? Yes. And uh, you are a black belt? Yes. Now, what is the difference? Between a red belt and a black belt? Yeah, color, I know, but I mean... Um, the amount of time training, um, I've been training probably about three or four years longer than Dave has, and um, he has two more promotional tests before he's a black belt. What, uh, what is the difference between Korean karate and, and other types of karate? Um, I think it's just the basic philosophy. We train in a style called Tang Soo Do, and it's the traditional Korean karate. Um, it's a philosophy, and even though uh, hand techniques and kicking techniques are balanced, I would say that um, the kicking techniques are more superior than uh, other martial arts. Basic uh, martial arts are as much mental as they are physical. Is that not true? No, it's very true. Um, y your mind controls your body and there's a lot of times that we our instructor keeps counting and we have to keep pushing to break the barriers of uh, you know kicking high we have to kick higher all the time and that's your mind pushing your body through that barrier there are some basic uh, what do we call the movements techniques or movements. techniques all right could you show us a few of those uh, the, the basic ones that you learn right off the bat okay uh, We'll start out with left leg forward, and one of the basic kicks you would learn would be front kick, and uh, you would either kick high or to the body, bringing your leg up and thrusting, and kicking with the ball of your foot, or kicking... You are going for his chest there? Anywhere, the chest, groin, or face level, you can kick front kick. Can you kick that high? <laughs> yes, I think so. Well, well with your cold, let's just... Uh, you did that, but now how can you react to that, David? Must he react to that? Should he? Well, Lisa? he can block. He can, he can do what we call a low block. I would kick and he would just block this way. Um, uh, with his guard up the way it is, I wouldn't try to kick front kick to his face. I might do something called roundhouse kick, which looks like that, because I can come around his guard area. And that way, if he wanted to block, he would just do what we call a high block that way. Um, Side kick, you're bringing your knee up sideways in your target area. You're kicking with the uh, heel of your foot. And I would kick to the body where I see an opening. You, I've never known this, but you're using the ball of your foot and the heel of your foot. Yes, or, or the, the side. Or the instep of your foot, depending on the kick. The in, show me one with the instep. Okay, that's roundhouse kick. There. Here, yes. That's right to the head. Yes. These are all look like they could be lethal. Yes. If I, you did not, must you be careful? Um, the, on, on our style, the emphasis is on control. It's much easier to hit a target area than it is to control. If we can tr control very closely to the face, then we know that if we had to, we could e easily kick the target area hard. Now, another basic move. I, you're only on one foot here all the time. <laughs> uh, what, can you use the other foot too? Sure. May I see that? Yes. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, or. Spinning back kick. Oh. What about with the hands, the arms? Uh, we have techniques called ridge hand. You're hitting, striking to the neck with this part of your hand. Or reverse punch, punching with your back arm, hitting with your first two knuckles. Uh, we have back fist and then reverse punch. Those two very quickly go together? Yes. Are they a one-two thing? Yes, Can and then I you'd usually follow up with a kick. Can I see that, the three of them? Yes. You just missed, does he know that? <laughs> you just missed him. David, did you realize that? <clears throat> did you realize you just missed me too? <laughs> you know, we want, well, we want this to go the full show. You understand <laughs> that, Lisa. All right, show me something else. Okay, we can uh, do flying kicks. Aha. Uh -huh. Where you're off the ground with both legs. Um, jumping kicks. Close in. Um, you knew he was there. <laughs> if he had been six foot five, you'd have taken his stroke right with him. Can, does the size of your opponent make much difference? Um, well, you have to adjust your distance. If I, I obviously... Um, 
depending on how tall they are, I'm not going to try to kick to their face level. If I can't reach it, I'm going to throw myself off balance. What is your thought when you're, when you're doing this? What is in your mind? Uh, to make sure I'm focusing, that I'm looking at my target before I'm striking. All right, now what uh, are you doing that would make points? What would David do to make points if he's going for, uh, say, the black belt? Okay. How do you make points in um, karate? Well, we have tournaments that we go to, a few select tournaments, if that's what you mean by points. The I mean, how does he get the belt? You would just show your basic techniques that you, you've learned and in combinations in your self-defense, free fighting and breaking abilities. And you also have to have a good attitude also. When you say breaking abilities, what are we talking about? Um, breaking boards, uh, pine boards, yes. with different techniques. Oh, you're talking about things that I do. I didn't, uh, I, I didn't realize it. I just call them breaking boards. But, uh, but you're talking about breaking. This could literally break heads. David, do you want to show something that you can do? Well, ask him, please. I don't want to just stand there and take all of this from Lisa. What are you going to do? Ah. The expression martial arts, no matter what it is, uh, Korean, uh, regular karate, judo, is called the martial arts. Mm -hmm. Yes. And basically it is uh, the art plus the mental attitude. Yes, you have to, um, to be a good martial artist, you have to have the mental attitude. You have to be humble also. You, uh, a lot of people, you can take anyone off the street that has any natural athletic ability and make them a good fighter or a good martial artist. But if they don't have the mental attitude, which is um, humbleness, you know, not boastful, anything like that, because we're dealing with things that can hurt people. And if you don't take a serious attitude with that, um, it's just no good. It can be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So you have to balance it out. You have to make sure that they understand the importance of preserving life and also uh, a good physical fitness and self-defense exercise so they have confidence themselves. It, it has a, 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 it coincides with some of the things that we on television have, well, humility, and humbleness, and things of that sort. If you will, demonstrate whatever you wish. Okay, do you want to do one steps? Is it called one steps? Yes, it's one step sparring. What it is, is uh, it's, it's pre-planned moves that we practice. We wouldn't necessarily punch or kick this exact way, but it's a good exercise for using your waist, which helps with more power. Um, if, if he were, uh, a little bit taller and a lot heavier, maybe one of my punches wouldn't be as devastating if I didn't use my waist. So we use our waist a lot All with right, our. Would you do that? Yes. I use. What are you saying? We're just we're just uh, expelling air, which. Um, the oriental martial arts, when we exhale or when we, what we call kiap is uh, yelling. Um, we're not saying anything in particular. It's usually sounds that you just do the first time and usually that's the same sound that you make the rest of your training that you feel most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You're just exhaling air, which uh, we believe gives you more power in your techniques. You're exhaling with all your energy. May I see that again or do something else, please? <laughs> Do you date much? <laughs> I'm sure that uh, uh, if anybody came up uh, behind you, this it would be the end of them. Yes, I do date uh, a little bit. No, I'm, I'm sure, but I'm, I'm only kidding. A very, very lovely young lady. And David, uh, how long? Of course, you don't have a microphone now, but how long do you uh, re work on this every single day? Every single day, I work um, about an hour and a half, six days a week, not on Sunday. Um, sometimes extra time after an hour and a half, it depends. Um, and I also teach a children's class. Can at, we come, we come and see this? Can people come and see this? Yes. At the Karate Center, the Korean Karate Center in Lakewood. Where is it? It's on Lake, Detroit. On Detroit Road. Uh, we'll give you a number to call. And uh, I thank both of you, uh, Lisa Kota. Uh, Ko Let me get that right. Lisa Kozak. Thank right? you very much. And uh, David Willard, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to chop up a commercial here and be back.
Go ahead.